Tonight is the night, people. All year long, we've been waiting to find out if Republicans will take control of Congress and stop President Biden's agenda, or if Democrats will keep control of Congress and somehow stop Biden's agenda. <laughs> and it's all led up to today, Election Day. A great day for democracy and for people who love waiting in lines. You know, it's like, ah, another chance to smell a stranger's hair. <laughs> now, you, you've probably heard it everywhere, you know, but many people believe this may be the most important election of our lifetimes. And yes, I, I know, I know they said that about 2020, right? I also know that they said it about the 2018 midterms, and they definitely said it about 2016. Well, no, which I know makes some people say, well, clearly none of these elections are as important as people say. They always say it's the most important election. But, but maybe, maybe we're thinking of it wrong, you know? Maybe everything is getting worse and worse, which makes every election more and more important. <laughs> and I know I said that, and like, that, like it sounded good, but it's not. I get that my, my inflection <laughs> didn't match the feeling. Well, think of it this way, think of it this way. Like, when you're in a car, the brakes are the most important safety feature, right? All right? When you're in your driveway, it helps to have brakes. Yeah, but then when you get on the road, the brakes become more important. Yeah, then you're on the freeway going 100 miles per hour, the brakes are even more important. <laughs> then a school bus gets stuck in front of you, and then you realize that the school bus is full of puppies, and the puppies are holding the only copy of Rihanna's new album! <laughs> now the brakes are the most important brakes of our lifetime! <laughs> Why did I take my brakes for granted? Now, luckily, many people did feel like this was an important election. So all around the country, people turned up to vote everywhere, from Arizona to Pennsylvania to uh, Wisconsin to a bunch of states that the media doesn't even care about. People cast their votes <laughs> in this election. And now that the voting is finished, there is some good news. You all voted perfectly, and every problem in America has been solved. <laughs> Congratulations, everyone. Congratulations. But no! Are you clapping? Being sarcastic, obviously. They're still counting the votes, so we're gonna have to wait until tomorrow or two months from now, depending on how many lawsuits there are. <laughs> but right now, we've got full team coverage of election night all around the country. So let's kick things off with our very own Roy Wood Jr., everybody, who is live <laughs> at the Democratic Party headquarters. Roy. Tumultuous time for the Democrats. What's the mood like over there right now? It's nervous, Trevor. The Democrats are not expecting a good outcome tonight. Chuck Schumer already sweating like Elon Musk looking at Twitter's balance sheet. <laughs> Nancy Pelosi, Nancy Pelosi pacing so hard, she already got in her steps for the week. And Joe Biden, well, he's taking a nap, but it's a nervous nap. <laughs> One of them nervous naps, you know, like when you sleep at the wheel and you, huh, huh, Arizona. <laughs> Well, Roy, you know, if Democrats lose big tonight, many strategists will suggest that their campaign messages didn't resonate enough with the voters, you know, because they ran on abortion rights and saving democracy, but it seems like for most voters that wasn't a priority. The Democrats agree with you, Trevor. That's why tonight they're coming up with brand new campaign messages to get voters on their side. What, tonight? Don't you, don't you think it's a little too late for that? Everyone's voted already. Dad, there's still people in line in Georgia, and just wait <laughs> until they get on Twitter and see Democrats' new campaign slogan, vote for us and we'll get rid of Mondays. It's <laughs> a good one. It's a good one. Wait, but, but that's, that's weird. And also, then, doesn't Tuesday just become the new Monday? How... No, no, that's not how it works, because then Tuesday... It... They got other ideas anyway, man. They got other ideas. Oh, here's, here's another one the Democrats are promising. They're promising to make another season of The Office and for black voters, Martin. <laughs> and they've got a new tax plan. Pay what you want, and they'll make it so that everyone's team makes it to the Super Bowl. Well, okay. Right. Pay what you want and everybody's team make it to the Super Bowl. That's two policies, Trevor. Well, yeah, well, but, but, Roy, but Roy, I, I, don't, I don't understand. If everyone's team makes it to the Super Bowl, <laughs> then Hold who's on. Team... I'm not done with the list. Here you come with all that damn logic. How about this one? <laughs> Unlimited breadsticks at every restaurant, even the Chinese ones. <laughs> even the Chinese restaurant. Unlimited bread... They don't even give you breadsticks at Chinese restaurants. And, 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 look at this list right here, man. Look, look at all this stuff, man. Pumpkin spice lattes year-round. That's for basic bitches like you, Trev. <laughs> and... <laughs> if none of that works, check this out. The Democrats, here's something else they're promising. Every Oscars will have a surprise slap. <laughs> I tell me that won't be...
be exciting. A surprise slap? Mel Street just hauling off and slapping Timothy Chalamet. Just stop out. <laughs> you know you want to see that shit. You know you want to surprise. Right. I mean, that. these sound very exciting, but I mean, it seems very desperate from the Democrats. Yeah, well, yeah, that's what I told them. But they refused to give up, and now they're talking about forgiving everything: student loan debt forgiven, gambling debts forgiven. <laughs> you gave an embarrassing best man speech at your boy's wedding forgiven. <laughs> You hear that, Vernon? You can't be mad at me no more for saying your wife looked like Shrek. It is what it is, bro. <laughs> Get mad at Wait, me. Why would you say that during a best man speech? She started it. I came to that wedding in peace to support them. She the one who said, I got a civil rights hairline. You don't do that to a man. <laughs> you know a man's hair is a line you don't cross, Alicia. <laughs> All right, Roy, we're gonna talk to you later about that. Roy, with you everybody. Thing, thank let thank me you tell for the No, no, no. <laughs> This promise is a win. This promise is a win. This is a really win. All right, all right. Uh, before we cross over to our next correspondent, we do have a new live projection coming in, and it's a big one, in the state of Georgia, the Georgia Senate race. The Daily Show projects that Herschel Walker has won 23andMe. <laughs> I didn't even realize 23andMe was a thing you could win. But they just announced it, so good for him, I guess. Good for him. He did it. But anyway, let's go live now to Michael Costa, who I believe is coming to us from Election Deniers headquarters? That's right, Trevor. There are so many election deniers running this year that they have their own headquarters where they can watch the results come in. And fun fact, the Wi-Fi password here is Hillary killed JFK and also is JFK, all caps. Wow, okay, so I I'm really intrigued. What's the yeah. mood like over there? Oh, they are having a blast here. And I'll tell you, one thing they're not denying, more jello shots. These people know how to party, Trevor. Wow, uh, I mean, I'm assuming election yeah. deniers must be doing well tonight? Well, well they are, and, and hundreds of election deniers ran for office this year, and a lot of them have already won their races. I see. Wait, these are election deniers, yeah. so I guess they don't think there's any fraud in their elections. Well, no, of course not. They won. <laughs> okay, but then what about the election deniers who didn't win tonight? Well, obviously, their elections were stolen. You know, just like Trump's was in 2020 and will be again in 2024, unless he wins, in which case it was legitimate. It sounds like these people are just sore losers. Whoa, whoa, we do not say that word here, Trevor, okay? <laughs> Especially not with the hard R. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but no, Costa, the reasoning doesn't make any sense. Well, actually, it's pretty simple. Let, let me break it down for you, okay? So, you see, if they lost, that's because it was rigged. And you can tell it was rigged because they lost. <laughs> Yeah, but, but, Michael, that's circular logic. Well, it's, it's actually more of an oval, if you ask me, so... Okay, uh, how do they know the election they won wasn't rigged? Well, that's easy, because they won, so it's fair. It's all over here on this other oval, okay? <laughs> and, and, and now that they've won, they can change the voting laws. You know, purge the voter rolls, throw out ballots they don't like, give themselves the power to overturn results so they never lose again. Wait, wait but that's rigging the election so they win. What are you not understanding, okay? <laughs> If they win, that means it wasn't rigged. Do they not have ovals in Africa? I mean, <laughs> we have ovals, Costa. This is about logic. It doesn't seem like a democracy to me. Well, look, I'd love to keep explaining it to you, but I gotta go. Everyone's heading over to the Capitol to celebrate well, or to storm it. We'll see when we get there. All right, you be careful out there, Costa. Michael Costa, everybody. Yeah. This is a really stressful election. All right. Before, before we get to our next correspondent, we have some more results coming in. Our analysts have crunched all the numbers, and we can confirm that that five bucks you donated didn't do shit. <laughs> For more results, let's throw it over to Dulce Sloan in the 2022 Election Center right now. Hello, hello, hello. Dulce, Dulce, it's really crazy. What can you tell us about this 2022 election? 2022? No, I'm in 2024 election center, baby. Come on, look at the. <laughs> See where I'm at? You know what I'm doing. 
2024. Yeah, the presidential election. We gotta move on. 2022 is old news, okay? That shit is over. It's literally not over, all right? I wanna know who won tonight's races. You wanna know who won tonight's races? Then Google it, ugh. <laughs> What are you here for? Listen, I'm here to widely speculate about who might win next time. It's called The News. The News. All right. Da, 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 da. Fine, I'll play along. What data can you give us about the 2024 presidential race? What? Whose data? What are we? <laughs> it's way too early for that. This is my favorite part of the race, where you can just get on TV and gossip. Yes! <laughs> now, I don't gossip, I'm a good Christian woman, but... <laughs> like, did you hear Trump called Ron DeSantis a bitch? <laughs> and Joe Biden says he's running again, but I heard he died three months ago. <laughs> Why are you groaning? This is... This is all... This... If the man met Jesus, the man met Jesus. What are you upset about? wide card in this race, Oprah. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Are you saying Oprah is running? She didn't say she's not, so as far as I'm concerned, she is. <laughs> Don't say, come on. This is what people hate about the political media. Hey, 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 I'm not forcing anybody to watch. If you don't like it, you can turn off your damn TV. Enough of the speculation. Don't say slow on everybody. This is too much gossip <laughs> and speculation and no. None of that. Okay, now, as you know, as you know, many news organizations did their own exit polling today. So, we sent Desi Lydic out to some polling locations in New York City for some exit polls of our own. And let's see how that turned out. Hi, I'm Desi Lydic, here outside the polls on election day. I would be inside voting, but I've got one too many felony convictions. So instead, I'm doing some exit polling. I'm just doing a little bit of uh, exit polling. Can I ask right. you a few questions? Sure. Great. Um, did you base your decision to exit based on a sign above the door that said exit or just like a gut decision? Huh? Did you just exit the polls? We did. Yes, we did. Thank you for your time. What was your exit experience like? Uh, the last few questions on the ballot were all about, you know, things we would vote yes or no for to include Free New York, and one of them was about having values for the city, and no, I no, thought... No, 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 okay. no, 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 I don't want to know what's on the ballot oh, or how you voted. I'm more interested in exiting. Like, what sure. was your exiting experience like? Was there an exit sign over the door? I didn't even notice. Didn't notice. Were you paying attention to anything important? Yeah, I was paying attention to the voting. What direction do you think we're headed in? The way things are looking, it's very frightening. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't mean as a country. I just mean in terms of where the door is. The door looks like it's leading in the wrong direction, away from democracy. No, I mean, like, literally, I'm asking literally about the door. Like, do you open it with your hand? Do you have to give the door it, like, a open. butt push? The exit door is open. Thank you. I mean, is it that hard to talk about doors? <laughs> Why is it well, so yes, hard to just talk uh, about doors? Well, yes, because you, you think there's some symbolism attached to the, to the no, idea no, of the door. No, no, I, I don't, no symbolism. I'm done with symbolism. Perfect. What color was the paint in there? Are we talking eggshell or more of an off-white? <laughs> you know, it was, it was eggshell, but a lot of reds. But, you know, this isn't really how exit polls work. I mean, I have a 13-year-old here, and I'm teaching him the whole civic process. Oh, no, I know. You know that. I know oh. what exit polls are. I just cannot talk about these candidates for one more second. Yeah, I hear you. It's not really about exits or no. doors. No, I, I know what exit okay. polling is. It's Good. just that the midterm stressed me out so much that I want to talk about literally anything else. Like this morning, I woke up in a cold sweat screaming, Lee Zeldin! I think the economy is also very important. I don't want to hear about that. Just, um, what did the door handle look like? Your coordinator! Yes. Oh, just the man I'm looking for. I'm doing some exit polling. Can you talk to me about the design of the exits? All right. Basically, the exits are, we have a front exit so people could come in 
the building. Also, the people that are handicapped or whatever can still come out the same way they went in. Oh, got it. Okay, so the front entrance is also used as an exit. Entrance. Yes. This is just the information I was looking for. Finally, <laughs> someone who can give me the answers that I want. Thank you. <laughs> this is just what I want to talk about. I do not go. <laughs> okay, go, go quickly, because I don't like goodbyes. I hate seeing you leave, but I love watching you go. Not in like a pervy way, just like a, in an exiting pole way. Thank you so much for that, Desi. I feel like that was a complete waste of time.